Greetings from Toledo. I wonder what you think about when you hear the color pink. Uh, being from Toledo, uh, I, one of the first things that comes to my mind is Owens Corning Fiberglass. This is a company that's more than 100 years old and has been headquartered in Toledo since it was founded. It's a very innovative company. In the 1970s, they set up a research facility in Granville, Ohio. My father, a chemical patent attorney, used to make regular trips to Granville to talk to inventors there about what they were working on. They came up with the fiberglass body for the Corvette Stingray, and they have been working on improving home insulation for decades. What does this have to do with trademarks, you might wonder? Owens Corning makes home insulation out of fiberglass, and they color it pink. Somebody at Owens Corning got the idea in the 1970s that people who saw pink fiberglass insulation might think of Owens Corning. And remember, the purpose and function of a trademark is to identify the source of a product. When Owens Corning started putting pink color into their fiberglass, no one else was doing that. The natural color of fiberglass insulation is something like a dirty yellow. Owens Corning fiberglass insulation since the 1960s has been pink. And in 1974, Owens Corning applied to register the color pink as a trademark for its fiberglass. This was kind of a stretch. This was a big stretch because you can't identify the source of a product merely by looking at the color of it. So Orange Corning took a leap there and made their application and they had to make a case that the public had come to recognize Owens Corning as the source for fiberglass insulation that was colored pink. Owens Corning's burden was aided by their clever marketing schemes. There was a tie-in with the Pink Panther cartoon character, and you'd have to be fairly old to remember that, but it helped establish in consumers' mind the connection between pink and Owens Corning fiberglass. It's a long story, but uh, in brief, the Patent and Trademark Office refused Owens Corning's application to register the color pink for fiberglass insulation. And Owens Corning convinced that appeal board that it should decide this case as prior cases had not been decided that the board should recognize that the color pink had become uniquely associated with Owens Corning. And the color pink for home insulation is a registered trademark of Owens Corning fiberglass. So anyone can make fiberglass insulation to be used in building homes and commercial structures but Owens Corning has the right to stop other people from selling fiberglass insulation that is pink in color. And today, it's not unusual, it's becoming quite common for color to function as a trademark. Brown has come to identify United Parcel Service as the source for package delivery. Robin's Egg Blue has come to identify Tiffany and Company as the source of a particular piece of jewelry. Not all colors can serve the function of a trademark, which again, <laughs> and I don't mind repeating this, uh, the function is to identify the source of a product or a service. People may recognize a particular high-end women's shoe because it has a bright red sole. Those shoes nominally come from a company called Louboutin. Not sure I'm pronouncing that exactly the way the company does, but it's close enough. Louboutin has had limited mixed success in stopping other people 
from making high-end shoes with red soles. In more than one case, Louboutin has successfully challenged other companies that were selling high-end shoes with red soles. I represent a client who used color in a particular way on its product, and that use of that color was unique to my client, and I suggested that the client consider an application to register that color pattern in the Patent and Trademark Office. And that client is located very close to Toledo, Ohio, and we talked about the Owens Corning case and decided to go forward with an application to register that color pattern. And the burden fell on us to show that customers recognize that color pattern as indicating uh, my client as the source for that particular product. We cleared that hurdle and the color pattern is now registered as a trademark in the Patent and Trademark Office. Color is somewhat unusual even today in serving as a trademark, but where color has been established as a trademark, a large percentage of people will recognize that color. So if you have a unique color pattern on your product or on the packaging for the product, you may have an enforceable trademark. And you may want to consider an application to register that color pattern in the Patent and Trademark Office to put other people on notice that this is your trademark. And remember, You'll do better in Toledo.